if you're like me and you were able to find a reason to justify your impulsive decision to buy the new M1 Pro, M1 Max MacBook Pro, in my case, the 16 inch, and you're wondering how do you transfer everything, the files, the apps, the settings, and everything like that from your old MacBook to your new one. If you're interested in that, uh, keep keep watching because there's, let's just, let's just do it. All right, so here it is. I have here on the left is the M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch, which is the current one that I'm using. So we're gonna be transferring everything that's here on the left side laptop over onto the new one uh, here on the right side. Most of you guys are probably gonna be setting up your MacBook from this home screen. Uh, if not, if you've already set it up, uh, don't worry. Uh, there's another way that we can do it. It's practically the same way, but from the home desktop screen and not from the setup. But uh, for now, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, we're gonna be setting it up from here. So first, we're gonna select our region, uh, United States, and then just go through this whole thing. All right, so when we get to select your Wi-Fi network, uh, I want you guys to select the same Wi-Fi that your old MacBook is connected to. Once you're connected to the same Wi-Fi, uh, you're gonna go through da data and privacy. Just hit continue, and then you it's gonna take you to this page, which is which is the migration assistant, and this is what we're gonna be using. Um, it's gonna give you two options. Uh, the one up top, it's gonna say from a Mac time machine backup or startup, and then the second option would be from a Windows P PC. So obviously, we're gonna be getting the backup from a Mac, and so we're gonna choose that option and hit continue. It's going to ask us to connect AC power. And so I would recommend plugging both computers in just so to make sure that there's no interruption or anything and nothing gets cut off and you're able to copy the whole thing. And I have here the new MagSafe. Hey. There we go. And then it automatically goes onto the loading screen where your new MacBook is looking for a Mac to copy from. This is why it's important to connect your new MacBook to the same Wi-Fi that your old MacBook is currently connected to. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and go onto the taskbar and hit go. And from here, I want you to open applications. Once you get to the application folder, all the way through the bottom, there's a folder that's called utilities. Let's just open that and then scroll, and then just open up Migration Assistant from here, right here, Migration Assistant, and looks kind of like this. Let's just open it up, hit continue, and then it's gonna ask you for the password of your current MacBook. So this page is one of the most important parts. You don't wanna make a mistake on this one. So basically it's going to ask you, how do you want to transfer your information? And you want to pick the last one because you're not transferring from a Mac or transferring from a Windows PC. This is the source. And so you're transferring to the other MacBook. So you're going to have to pick the option that says to another Mac. And let's just hit continue. And then it's just gonna get things ready for you. And so your new MacBook is gonna discover the other one. And then once it's discoverable by the other, you're just gonna hit continue. And then after that, it's gonna give you these numbers and it's important for you to confirm that these two numbers are matched so that you're not transferring from the wrong Mac to the wrong Mac, if that makes sense. On the old Mac, we're gonna hit continue. And then it's just gonna go through the process and looking for applications and documents and uh, to transfer. All right, so I have you guys, as you guys can see, this is completely wireless, no wires or anything connected except the chargers. But besides that, it's completely wireless over your Wi-Fi. And so I would recommend actually doing this close to your router to get the best and fastest connection possible. And then once everything is finished loading and stuff like that, uh, the new Mac is gonna show you a few check boxes where you can select whatever it is that you wanna transfer from your old Mac to that current one. And so you could go through the applications if you wanna transfer all your apps, which I wanna do because I wanna transfer DaVinci Resolve, Photoshop, Lightroom, and, and all the things that I use. And then you could open this up and you could actually 
select specific folders that you want to transfer or not so you basically just uncheck whatever it is that you don't want transferred or check it if you want it transferred i for me i want a, lot of, a full copy of my old to my current but if you have that option you have that luxury so if you want to don't want to transfer printers network stuff like that uh for me i do and so i want to transfer everything and i'm just going to hit continue and then it's just going to ask you for the password so the current password that you're using on your old macbook pro or whatever mac that you're using uh you're just going to type in whatever password that you have on there by the way this is not the password that you use for your icloud this is the password that you use to log into your mac so there it is and after that um it's gonna go through terms and conditions just hit agree because there's really no other choice for you but to agree uh, i have read and agreed and stuff like that agree continue and then it's gonna get to this page where you can see that it's currently transferring documents and stuff like that from the old mac to the current one and then when you get to this part it's basically just a matter of waiting for it to finish and then you're all set up sometimes this takes a couple hours sometimes it takes 30 minutes it depends on your wi-fi connection and, and it also depends on how many data you're transferring from your old mac to your new one i'm hoping it doesn't take too long but i'll get back to y'all once it's finished Currently, it's giving me 45 minutes, 46 minutes. It keeps on fluctuating, but um, this is, isn't actually too bad because some people uh, are, are saying that theirs take two hours or anything. Uh, it's completely dependent on how your connection is to your Wi-Fi. So I would recommend doing this uh, close to your Wi-Fi router and to, to get the best connection, uh, which I've already said. And so we're just gonna wait it out and, and I'll get back to you once it's finished. And actually, basically that's it. You just log in like you normally would. And uh, by the way, uh, this MacBook M1 13 inch isn't even that old. I've only had this for a few months and it already looks way old when you put it side by side with the new one. It, it's insane. That notch though. <laughs> All right, and after the migration is complete, uh, your new MacBook is just gonna boot up straight into macOS, and it's just gonna ask you for your password and stuff like that, and you, you would just log in like you normally would. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in photography, filmmaking, or anything tech, uh, especially Mac, because I'll be uploading a few more videos on this new M1 Pro that I just received and just set up. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get better together. Peace. Like this video if it helped you in any way. Right there. If it didn't, hit it twice. Hey.